Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Logan Lepic, of course, of Howell Boys Basketball. How's it going? Uh, going really good, man. How are you doing? Doing well. So uh, overall, how, pra- how are practices going? Because, uh, you know, I think a lot of people are going to – but are going to get used to a lot. There'll be a lot of new faces uh, out there for Howell this year. Yeah, you know, we have a lot of new faces. We have a lot of new guys coming in. So the biggest thing with Prax is we're trying to keep it intense. We're trying to keep it game speed every single time. Just prepare us for the regular season, you know what I'm saying? Like we're trying to make every single practice as hard as possible, as physical as possible. And I think so far we've done a pretty good job with it. Yeah. Um, I think also, you know, the biggest story is, you know, with Howell, but obviously the other one is that, you know, how will look a little different this year. Um, you know, obviously the biggest story is, of course, the new uniform changes that you've seen throughout throughout the year, and you're going to see a lot more of as the years go on. But overall, obviously, you know, the shirt that Logan is wearing right now is not is not reflective of that. Of course, it's still the Vegas goal, but obviously more the green, the yellow. I've seen them. They look pretty good. But overall, how do you think they look? Uh, you know, they look pretty good. I was personally a fan of the Vegas gold, but we're yellow now, so I'm rocking with the yellow. Of course, the green and yellow, they've kind of, it kind of gives, it kind of gives Howell that, you know, everyone's, uh, a lot of alumni have commented, um, they've, it kind of gives them the, the classic look of back to where they were. Mm-hmm, for sure. So let's talk about, you know, how you've kind of improved your game a little bit. What what have you kind of done to, to get ready for this season? Um, For me, I think the biggest step I've been trying to take is with that leadership role, trying to bring all these other kids, you know, under my wing, we've got, We've got two freshmen on the team, one of them being my brother. We've got two sophomores on the team, you know, so and then a bunch of juniors that uh, it's really some of their first time playing. So I'd say my biggest thing, my biggest step this year has been the leadership role, pushing everybody to the best that they can be and trying to, you know, bring the whole team along to get ready for the season. How do you think you've kind of done at that? Uh, I mean, being a leader, it's tough. It's an up and down journey. But I think, you know, the whole team is the whole team has made it pretty easy to lead them. You know, everybody's looking to get better. Everybody's looking to be the best that we can possibly be. So I think I think it's gone pretty well so far. Yeah. Um, overall, I know that, you know, in covering Howell basketball over the years, the December slate of games is always pretty good. Um, you guys are facing some tough teams uh, down the road. Uh, kind of highlight some of them. We've got Williamson coming up. That's what we're locked in on right now. Uh, that's the first one. We're going to take it a day, day at a time, you know. We've talked about it a little bit this year. We're trying to win the day every time. So, you know, we've got Williamston on Tuesday, so we're kind of locked in on Williamston. And they're a tough team. I think they won the state championship last year. I think they're on a pretty big win streak. So, you know, we got all eyes, locked, all eyes locked in on them. We're trying to take them out first game. Yeah, of course, they also have a new coach as well with Coach E. Vroom over there. Um, <coughs> this maybe talk about for me, I know you're kind of focused on Williamston, but kind of talk about some of the other you know, opponents for people that may not know, um, you know, down the stretch. Because I I think you you also have Okemos at home as well. Yeah, we've got Okemos. I think we've got Wald Lake Northern. We've got a we've got a tough schedule. And then after the out-of-conference schedule, we head right into uh, Canton and Brighton. So two tough games in the league. I mean, every single night is going to be a battle. There's never going to be an off night. So we just got to bring it every single night. If we play physical, if we play the Howell brand of basketball that we can, I think we'll be good night in, night out. Yeah. For sure. When you talk about, um, you know, there's always a great tradition here with Howell, of course, many, uh, you know, it was only just a few years ago that you guys went all the way to the state finals. Um, going into that, and you know that Coach Simon's always going to bring a tough team out there. It, it just seems like no matter what, you know, teams always get better throughout the season. What's the, what's it going to be about this team getting ready to go? Because um, there's no easy, you just said, of course, you got the D2 state champions uh, coming in there but what what do you want to see out of these first few games you think I really for me I just want to see everybody going out there and playing as hard as they can and I know that's what we're going to get everybody wants to go out here and win you know we've got the pieces we've got the talent it's just if we can come in lock in mentally and play as hard as we can that's the biggest thing that I'm looking for for these first couple games yeah for sure um when we get into conference play we also know I also know this I know that you know, you got the non-conference schedule, but when we get in there, and especially in the West Division, I mean, you were at Media Day. You know, um, kind of looking into where it is. I think the division's wide open this year. Yeah, you know, every team's going to be good. Every team has some strong suits. So, 
I think if we can lock in, we can mentally prepare for everybody. I think it's going to be a dogfight every night. We're going to be able to compete with everybody. It's just whether or not we can, you know, bring the good Howell brand of basketball that we can to every single game. So if we can bring our A game, I think we'll be perfectly fine against anybody. How do you mentally prepare for a game? Um, there's a lot of different things, you know, so usually we'll go through, we'll watch some film, we'll watch some film on us, we'll watch some film on the other team, you know, we'll game plan like that, but really it's just at practice, we don't get tons of water breaks, it's just go, go, go the whole time, and it really starts from there, you know, you got to be mentally locked in to know what plays we're running when we're scrimmaging, you got to be, know where to be on defense, everything, it really just stems from practice. Yeah, for sure. And um, let's have some fun a little bit. What is something people might not know about you, Logan? Oh, goodness. Uh, let's see. Um, well, I don't really want to go to college for sports. That's something that a lot of people kind of assume about me. But I actually want to go into college and uh, study law when I grow up. So that's, that's awesome. something that's something unique. So you want to be a lawyer? Yes, I do. My aunt owns a law firm in Brighton. I've been working with her uh, for the past like six months. Um, so I've gained some great experience there. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be good moving forward. That's really cool. Um, mm -hmm. You know, knowing that you, you know, you want to, um, are you open to playing college sports? Um, you know, I've always thought about it. I've kept it in the back of my mind. But, you know, my dream would be to go to Michigan and study political science there and then head into their law field. So I'm really trying to pursue that right now. Absolutely. Um, favorite team growing up? Favorite team growing up? Um, team. I, I've always loved the, the Chippewas from Central. I've always loved watching their football games. Both my parents went there, so I always loved going. I remember going uh, with my brother in, like, the last games of the season, and it's freezing cold. There's, like, nobody in the stadium, but we always went there and bundled up and watched all those games. So that was always uh, real fun. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see. Um, favorite, most memorable game you've had? Most memorable game, let's think. Um, the district championship one against Heartland when we won it, that was a pretty cool one. Um, and then I know we lost the next game, but the next game was pretty cool just to see, like, you know, how physical you need to be to win and how physical you need to be to succeed in all those games the next round when we play. I think it was Wild Lake Northern. Um, both of those games are pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, Logan Lepic, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and best of luck this season. We'll have you on again sometime throughout the year. Thank you very much. Have a good one.